Some are calling you the MVP of the Super Bowl. I'm hearing it. <laughs> Is it too much? I mean, uh, maybe one of them. <laughs> no, no. I'll, I'll take it. Recreating Tony Soprano's great drive from New York to New Jersey. I mean, what a secret to sit on for you, huh, Jamie? Uh, absolutely. I mean, it was uh, the best secret I've ever had to keep, that's for sure. Um, but, you know, obviously anxiously awaiting and Super Bowl weekend in general just like always has this excitement about it. And I remember Sunday night right before we knew it was going to air, Robin and I just texted each other. Um, it's just really exciting. You know, Sopranos is something that we always end up kind of coming back together every time we think it's done or that, you know, it's probably the last thing we'll do associated with it. There's always something new. Um, and just this commercial was such a unique experience and something obviously I'll remember forever. And Robert Eiler, uh, you reunite with your brother uh, in the commercial. But you have spent a lot of time with him, right? You guys are still pretty close. Oh, yes. We're best friends, have been throughout filming of the show and since we have a podcast together. So we're, we're, we're always, you know, seeing each other in some capacity. But even when we shot the commercial, it just felt different. You know, we haven't been on a set together since, you know, 15, 16 years ago. And, you know, to have David Chase there directing us and Phil Abraham doing the cinematography, um, it felt like we just dropped right back in, but was also very surreal. Chevrolet spared nothing. Uh, they hired David Chase to shoot the whole thing, so you're working with him. And were some of the camera operators and sound guys on the set of the co of the commercial from the show? Yes, Phil Abraham, who is our director of photography. Now he's a director himself, but came back um, to direct it as well. And some of the camera operators, yes. And you know, throughout it all, especially when we did all the footage of me driving the car all they were doing was remembering Jim and how they did it with him and you know make, making sure that we got it frame for frame to honor it directly and somebody sent me a photo yesterday of like a screenshot of Jim and I in the exact moment right before we get out of the car and it was really eerie and crazy to me because we just we had the similar vibe and it's you know during the filming of it all it was it was pretty bizarre to feel like I could have dropped right back into Meadow at any moment. Is there any talk of uh, of getting the old gang back together? No, no talk. This was just like, I think, the opportunity to have that little moment to do that. She's clearly doing well. She's driving the beautiful Silverado EV, coming in from Manhattan into Jersey to meet her brother. I think for so many people, and especially the diehard fans that have been with us since the beginning and have rewatched it so many times and have analyzed the ending so many times. I think it was just a moment to be like, all right, Meadow's doing well, she survived. You know, AJ's doing well, he survived, they're still close. So yeah, I mean, it was a fun moment, especially for me to kind of sort of feel like the boss and how Meadow kind of would be as a 40 year old woman. And she, clearly I always imagined her doing well in life, being a lawyer of some sort. Who knows if it was defense or not, um, but I think it was just a real gift to give to fans on behalf of Chevrolet. Watching that shot, I say, there's nostalgia here. This is the greatest series. Do you leave yeah. it alone? You just leave it alone because it's really one of the top three series of all time. Or It's not up to me. I wish it was because if it was, I would be doing it again in a heartbeat. But, you know, I mean, I think it, it, it definitely what people's appetite about it. And and yes, like you said, I mean, the show has been celebrated. And I think especially, you know, in 2020, there was a whole new generation of people that watched the show for the first time, especially like right when lockdown happened. I think people were like, oh, yeah, I've heard of this show and my parents watched it or other people yeah. told me about it. Whole new generation. So I think, you know. Exactly, and that's that's why I think Chevy had this idea because it's a new generation of all electric vehicles, new generation Meadow and AJ of the Sopranos, all of that stuff. So it was a perfect parallel to draw for the commercial. You, you've gotten to watch the series as an adult. There's a little distance between it now. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you the ending. How do you feel about the ending yeah. of the Sopranos? I've always loved it. I've always thought it was perfect. I don't think any... I think there would have been people that were satisfied and then not satisfied had it been, you know, finite. But to me, I think it represented their life, the denial they needed to live in, the survival mode that they had to be in at all times to try and live as normally as possible, knowing that because of what Tony did for a living in the world that they lived in, that there were 
possible threats at any moment. You and Robert do a podcast together? What's it called? Our podcast is called Pajama Pants, and it's about everything and nothing, and in between our friend Kasim G hosts it with us. And you know, we're three very different people. We have, we have very different lives, but um, we have a lot of love and perspective. And we've had a lot of our old Sopranos castmates, and even Terry Winter, one of our great writers on the show, and then just other random guests to come on. And it's been a really fun way for us to connect and stay connected every week. And um, we have a lot of love for each other. And I think people are like, curious about our relationship which is nothing like how it was on the show and it's just it's just been a lot of fun to do together thank you for watching if you want more extra hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video